already 301 <laughs> and that I was already well, late. You were fucking around. With oh, I was the info. messing around with all the info. Okay, activity feed. Okay, we're gonna put the activity feed over here. That's I'm popping good. it out. That's smart. So we don't. We, we can't. We never do that. We can't get rid of it. And we're gonna pop out the chat. Mm-hmm. Pop out the chat. Pop it out. And we're gonna do this. <laughs> Press F for the deer is the yeah, first thing F's, I see. F's in the chat for the deer. <laughs> for the beautiful deer, yeah. so majestic. Who we don't know. Yeah, we don't. It's not anyone we know. It's just a deer. <laughs> just a deer. Okay, so I don't really need anything on this screen. So bring OBS back. And I'll draw a mug. Welcome to Trophy Stream. Wow, wow. wow, we're here again. Why do I feel like this Can't camera's like aimed Adam's so high? <laughs> Can I aim this down? Adam more? is fine. He did miss one day of work. He did. Yeah, Adam got really, really <laughs> jacked up. Um, the but... following day, he was messaging me about something and was like. By the way, I'm working from home in case you didn't notice. And I'm like, oh, no. I'm working from home today because I broke my back and can no longer move my arms or legs. But Adam is such a, he's such like a, a jovial, cheerful dude. Even like through all that, he'd just be like, oh, it's fine, guys. No problem. I just can't walk anymore. Lady Ask Delia subscribed. Thank you. Did we say that Lorlock subscribed? No, he didn't say anything. Lorlock also subscribed. Thank you, Lorlock. And Jake Chins. And Jake Chins. Jake Chins. Thank you. Oh, that's a big handle on this mug. <laughs> We're going with hands. it. For big hands. Big hands only on this one. Maybe this mug's a little, giving you a little winky. Wink. <laughs> You have a nice week. Monday, you seemed exhausted, did we? <laughs> did we seem exhausted on Monday? <laughs> I, on Monday, we made Todd from Mario. Yeah. So I don't think we were exhausted. And I think we were I at think we're our, exhausted after it. We were exhausted after it. We were at our <laughs> peak. That was peak beauty. Uh, Slam Dunk Benedetto subbed. He said, what's up, y'all? I got out of work early today, and I'm finally able to join in on a Friday stream. Yay! That's good news. <laughs> it's a sexy mug. I gonna thought that was going to... give gonna... you a kiss. That looked like, you know, like a muzzle. It's not a muzzle. <laughs> it's a sexy mug. Hi, I got... Julia. I got tea. Nice. You're I here got... and you got tea. I'm here and I got tea. How's everyone doing? What are we doing? We've just started. Yeah, All we, right. We just started. It's basically nothing. Okay. We were just talking about how Adam indeed survived. Adam did survive, <laughs> though. He had to take the next day off. <laughs> Rootsable Shaw, thank you for the sub. Thank, thank you. Thank you. What kind of tea? It's Earl Grey. I needed a, I needed a nice black you tea. You need a, a boost. Nice. Yeah. A little boost. bit of a boost. A gentle boost. Hannah... Thotep. Hannah Thotep subbed. And also Zesty Xander. Thank Zesty you. Zesty Xander. I went and got coffee this morning uh -huh. downstairs because nice. I don't know how he's a coffee maker. Nice. And um, the barista like remembers me, but only from the week where I was finishing uh, Hawkeye P.I. <laughs> issue three, last issue where I pulled consecutive all-nighters all for basically an entire week to you finish it. You almost said all-miters. All-miters. All-might. <laughs> you and, got very um, strong, but I went there weak. every morning for a week and ordered just, like, <laughs> a large coffee. So she's like, do you need a large again? <laughs> and I'm yeah. just like, no, no, that's, I'm not that doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah, things I don't are, usually do that at all. <laughs> things are better now. We're Slightly. in a better place. <laughs> Those days are, are numbered. <laughs> Just going to give like a peace sign here. Shout out to her for remembering <laughs> my chaos coffee week. Draw yourselves as different D&D &D alignments. Mari Lozan, uh, it's their first live stream. Wow. Welcome. Wow. Wow. Welcome is, to the live internet. What is your IRL D&D &D alignment? I drew that hand behind the camera, but there it is. Nice. Nice. 
What is my? I'm just gonna move it to the other side. DMV alignment. Just flip it. <laughs> Chaotic neutral. I've been told I'm neutral neutral. Okay. <laughs> True neutral. <laughs> True neutral, huh? I don't know about that. <laughs> but Vincent ninety five. Thank you for the sub. I'm definitely. Let's see. I'm not good. <laughs> I feel like I probably fall in nope. chaotic. You're probably like a cha- chaotic evil, maybe? What does chaotic evil mean? I always forget what they all mean. I don't know. I'm going to look them up <laughs> when I'm not drawing. But until that point, what should I draw? Uh, Jacob is just chaotic, chaotic. I could be chaotic <laughs> neutral. Draw feet, live, or die. Thank you. I thought it was Droppy Live or Die. <laughs> live or Die. <laughs> it could be. Droppy Live or Die. Hey, which one is. is it? Hey. Draw hey. Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Oh, I should draw Earl Grey. Draw Earl Grey. I'm going to draw Earl Grey. I'm waiting for my feet to cool off because it's very hot. That's Brendan Urie's alignment. I don't know because he won't squad stream with us because <laughs> he won't respond to my dms <laughs> are we trying to get him to squad stream with us i know adam said he'd try to <laughs> get in touch with someone <laughs> though i doubt that'll happen I but mean, consider probably... this it'd be cool <laughs> i mean if gerard way had come on our show like we wanted then maybe we would have an in he's oh, too man. busy doing a reunion tour yeah he's too busy Making all my dreams come true. Everyone on my Facebook feed's dreams come true. <laughs> it was like my entire Facebook feed that day was just my chemical romance. <laughs> Every joke you can make about I'm not okay <laughs> has been done. <laughs> Julia's seen it all and I've has seen no it patience all. for your shit. <laughs> it's all been done before. Wait, did you try to get him on the show before? No. Uh, it was just a jo- an ongoing joke we had Boo. that we were going to get Gerard I, We still are, <laughs> someday. I have no doubt in my mind that we will eventually have Gerard Way on the, on the <laughs> we'll show. We'll get him someday. Yeah. Julia, where are you? I raised the oh, okay. okay. by one degree. <laughs> I didn't realize you had gotten up, and so I was looking at the webcam, and I was like, where are you sitting that I can't see you at all? Like, it feels like you should be on camera. Mara, Mara bars. bars 18. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was so determined to be off camera. I thought you were putting on another costume. No, no, no. Uh, (laughs) This room was cold, so I... So I went to go get a A warm cape. (laughs) All right, hold on. I'll be back. Oh, this is Earl Grey. He's here. So fancy. (laughs) He has one good cheekbone. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, the other one's... <laughs> no, I'm taking that away. He doesn't oh, okay. have one good cheekbone. Oh, that looks warm. I'm a vampire at an art gallery. <laughs> I'm a vampire at an art gallery. When you're vampire, but you still kind of fashion. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, I was a little cold. Even though I can't feel temperature. So my my we- neck. Oh, there he goes. Is that a vampire thing? You can't feel temps? Well, because they're dead, right? I guess. They're always cold but they don't feel it. <laughs> oh, I'm always cold, but I do always feel it. Yeah, so you're definitely not a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. You're just cold. You're just cold. I did spend, so Jacob and I in our apartment, we have a, a heating vent Ooh. that comes out of the ceiling. Not like a heater, but it's like a little fan you can turn on that makes your room hot. That's cool. And it's I, in the bathroom, yeah, to clarify. It's in the bathroom. That's cool. <laughs> I stood under this heating fan. That's how I spent my morning. I just stood under it for like five <laughs> minutes. It is cold morning season, so. Yeah. It was a pretty nice fan thing. Is Earl Grey a vampire? Yeah, Earl Grey's a vampire. Okay, cool. He's been alive for thousands of years. Zesty Xander says, Jacob. I don't want to spoil things for the YouTubers, but you know what you did, and it was amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was like, which thing? What are we referring <laughs> what to? What did I do? Who's calling me right now? This is probably a spam number. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is that in Chinese? That's it in is. Chinese. That's in Chinese. <laughs> is 
a Mandarin in there? It was a, a Chinese spam call. Wow. Interesting. Lucky. Fascinating. This is what America's all about. <laughs> Getting spam calls in other languages. That's yeah. what makes America great. That's beautiful. <laughs> How was everyone's Halloween? Who Marina, had the what did you do? Halloween? Nothing. I ate Indian food in bed. Nice. Which is kind of spooky. I could have spilled yeah. it. <laughs> right on my bed sheets. <laughs> and that, that ain't coming out. Yeah. Hey, Jacob? Yeah. What's happening? This Here? A... What are these shoulders? Earl Grey. Oh. This is Earl Grey. Uh-huh. He wears a bolo tie. Okay. And he has a big sort of robe with pauldrons. Mm-hmm. He's an ancient vampire lord. Oh, okay. Oh, this is where his arm comes out. This is where his arm comes out. Okay. So he can hold his uh, scepter. The most that I interacted with Halloween was walking from the subway to our apartment. And it was wonderful and super crowded because our area is apparently really popular for trick-or-treaters. Huh. This lady set up a... a little like fake fortune teller tent outside of her apartment Aww. and she had like a whole show going but instead of like I don't know it, it, there was some like ritual and then you get like candy from it like mm. it was like this whole big okay. cool thing That's girthy fun. potato thank you for the sub it was super cool did we to say see. Narwaldo Narwaldo just did I've never once said Narwaldo that's good never once um. I've never yeah, I was kind of just worried because I didn't know if our street did trick or treating because mm-hmm. I didn't bring anything. No, um, I had some either. of the candy from work in my bag, so I was like, worst case scenario, I have some candy covered in tape. Um, <laughs> but no, we didn't have anything on our street. But there was like a lot of nice little like neighborhood things around. There's a library um, on the way to the subway from where I live, and they had a whole big thing. They had, like some sort of show going on, so I thought that was nice. That is nice. I think it's nice that kids get to do that in neighborhoods where it's just kind of like not everyone at all does trick or treating. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did um did your dad give you an update on uh, a bone horse? <laughs> no, I'll ask him about it when I talk to him tomorrow. Yeah, ask him about <laughs> bone horse. Yeah. Make sure bone. The horse only update I got is that my dad. Got a Drawfee t-shirt. Newsday shirt. Yeah, he yeah, got the Newsday he, shirt I he designed. he sent me a selfie, and I don't think he's ever taken, like, an actual selfie before, so it was a good time. I was so <laughs> happy to see it. It yeah. brought me such great joy. Also, it's probably worth saying, there, there's a Newsday shirt in the yeah, store. Yeah, by the way. I keep forgetting to tweet about it or promote it in any way, but it's in there. And it's, My dad got one, so it's cool. It's dad approved. It's, it's dad, dad approved. approved. Yeah. <laughs> Store dot dropout dot TV. Yeah. Go buy it. Yeah. 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 There's also a lot of uh, other Drawfee shirts in there. Yeah. Draw detectives. There's Draga shirts. When is the uh, the Camp Bass shirt coming, Julia? Do you know? You yeah, because you did Cause you, a Camp you designed Bass it. shirt. I remember seeing it. Dude. I forgot to give it to Andrew. <laughs> so it's coming when you give the design. I can go give it right now. Go go. I'm gonna go. Go do it. I'm gonna walk out with this. Vampire. Please go give That's that just design. Normal. That's what you always look to like. Andrew. Yeah. I'll so that back. the camp bass shirt can be up. I'll be back. My God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Julia made a camp bass shirt from the camp episode. Of, it does exist. Of a uh, draw. Oh tweet. I'm not tweeting. I'm oh, okay. working. <laughs> well, I can't tweet. I don't have access. I can tell you the login right now, live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should give you the login, though. When's, so you can have when's a login. the Todd shirt? Uh, the Todd shirt, I think we're going to release it on our Secret Sleepover Society <laughs> store. Me and Julia are going to po- post it on there. <laughs> we had issues with the Todd we shirt. We had issues with the Todd shirt. Our, our <laughs> lawyer does not like the Todd shirt. <laughs> she said, no, I hate it. You can't do this thing. Uh, you know, or else we're going to get in trouble. And we said, but it's nothing. <laughs> and she said, it's, it's enough. And so we're going to release it on our own, and we'll post a link to it. <laughs> and um, that's that. That's how that's going. <laughs> no one could stop us. There's there's no laws on Secret Sleepover. <laughs> yeah, Secret Sleepover is above the law. Yeah, it's above the law. 
I can't wait for you to get um, cease and desist by Nintendo. <laughs> I, I over that Mar- would be Todd from Mario. the funniest thing that could ever happen if Nintendo saw that and said, <laughs> "We can't allow that. This is infringing on our copyright. Yeah. This possum is infringing and then we on do our copyright." Todd version two, where like there's a black bar above the hat and over the word Mario that just says redacted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Todd from redacted. <laughs> <laughs> forbidden Todd uh, yeah so there will be one from some channel yeah it'll come eventually just keep your eyes peeled <laughs> for those for those goods <laughs> got one of these crowns I was like the crowns that have like a cushion in it what's the point of those it's almost like so like if you had like a ratatouille situation there'd be like a pillow for your <laughs> it's head like you can have a rodent pilot <laughs> yeah so you can have a rodent pilot control the kingdom from inside your <laughs> your pillow hat <laughs> um this is earl gray he's so regal he's an earl yeah you're right is that what earls are yeah they're like dukes kind of okay. like a duke and an earl this is like a king it's like a title um I guess the other way I could have gone with it is like his name is Earl. <laughs> his name is just Earl. <laughs> Earl Gray. I do so love me a cup of tea in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Um do you want to draw? I'll Karina? Draw. Let me in. What should I draw? What should Karina draw? <laughs> Yug. Hey Yug, what should Karina draw? <laughs> People really want Lady Gray. Lady Gay. <laughs> is Lady Gay. Is, is Lady, Lady Gray. Gray. I don't know that one, so I want to leave that to someone who... Who said, is Lady Gay? It was Nathan. He was trying Nathan. to say, is Lady Gray, and then he <laughs> messed it up and said, is Lady Gay. Um, draw your dad in the Newsday shirt. <laughs> We've already established I don't know what my dad looks you like. You have a photo. <laughs> 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 Bone Cowboy. I drew that on Monday, yeah, kind of. we already did a Bone Cowboy. Please draw Yug. Yug. Always draw Yug. Please draw me. Favorite Neopet Kachik. I'm always, I, I used to have a Kachik. Awkward Werewolf. Yug and a Luge. <laughs> luge and Yug. Yug. Yug, Hawk and a Luge. The Spirit of November. Huckleberry doubles euro subscribed. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Todd from Mario meets Spooky Karen. <laughs> I already forgot what Spooky Karen looks like. <laughs> spooky Karen was a lot. <laughs> spooky Karen was like a giraffe. Yeah. Spooky Karen was a spooky giraffe neopet. I do kind of want to do that one now. It's a match made in heaven. Spooky Karen and Todd, and Todd from Mario. From, is this going to be Spooky Karen from memory <laughs> and Todd from Mario from memory? Yeah, I think I remember what Todd looks like. A double from memory? I, I, I hate to really ruin <laughs> the sanctity of Todd, but... This is fan art. Yeah, this is my fan art of Spooky Karen and Todd from Mario. This is my ship art. Um, for those of you who were not here for the Monday stream, um, I feel like mm. I should up, update you. Someone was suggesting that we drew uh, Toad from Mario... <laughs> And Karina misread it as Todd from Mario, <laughs> which tickled us uh, in, in quite a, a deep way. And then Julia just made it into this possum wearing a mushroom hat, this lounging possum. This is like the epitome of you had to be there. Like you just go, had to just be there. go watch the um, the video from Monday. But I'm just because people can't go watch it right now. <laughs> I'm just telling you this possum Todd from Mario is from the Monday stream, and you can go back and watch it. It's a really God, wonderful time. What did Karen look like? And Karen was a giraffe who was like doing a mean hunch and kind of a yeah. squat of some kind. Spooky Karen is a spooky Digimon who is giraffe based. Rafferitics subscribed and said, "Y'all are awesome." Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A lot of people in chat saying Todd is God. <laughs> and ain't that the truth? T in the chat to worship Todd. <laughs> we all worship Todd whether we know it or not. <laughs> the true Frenchie subscribed and said Todd from Mario is God. <laughs> We've inadvertently started a new religion. The chat is full of T's. It's blasting off with T's. 
I'm trying to remember things about Spooky Karen. I remember there were like. I remember she had big. She had Digimon mouth. She, she had. had like she a had big Digimon mouth. Scary mouth. And a big and a long and tongue. She had like the. There were like spike balls yeah, on the. Yeah, she's a giraffe, but yeah. she's a Digimon giraffe, so her spikes, her things were weapons. I don't know what these are. Why do giraffe have these? I honestly don't know. Like, I wish I did know. Any it, any scientists in the chat that know about? Maybe they're like antenna, and the giraffe like picks up wind patterns with the. Because like when I was a kid, the only giraffe I knew was the Toys R Us giraffe, and they looked like Jeffrey. antenna. John <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> His name was Jeffrey, right? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I was 50-50 between Jeffrey and Jeremy. I think it was Jeffrey. Yeah, it was Jeffrey. Okay. Jeffrey's dead now. <laughs> we have to figure out what colors Camp Bass worked on. <laughs> Did you figure it out? Yeah, I figured out this ugly-ass yellow. Can you, can you hand me my seltzer? This one? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, I Duke. was just standing behind... Andrew, um, oh, I can tweet. Oh, I could have done that since I stopped drawing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I forgot. <laughs> um, I was standing behind Andrew just looking at this stupid Camp Bass shirt that I've designed. And it's I like, love it. It's like the goofy one, right? Yes. With all the textures? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. It's really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Julia nailed all of the awful textures of that shirt in digital form. <laughs> yeah, we were... Um, Everyone was telling me that the shirts I've been designing have uh, been doing pretty well and that they've all really enjoyed it. And then I turned, I'm like, oh, thank you. And I turned to look up my Camp Bash shirt and I'm like, <laughs> what a travesty. <laughs> no, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Every time you say y'all want something, mm -hmm. by God, you better actually want it. When is that going up? The shirt? Yeah. Probably, Should be up in a couple of minutes. Probably soon. Boom. Andrew this, said he was going to slack me when it was up. Is this what Spooky Karen looked like? I don't remember what Spooky Karen looked like. This is like a, a horrid version of Spooky Karen. And I somehow this, made Spooky Karen work. This is even spookier. I remember liking her the first time I drew her. And her I head don't was know. very low and she was doing a power squat. Yeah, because I want her here. We're doing she Spooky Karen X Todd from Mario fan art. CrossFit <laughs> fan art. Okay. Yeah, it's um, typo shipping. That's not a thing that most people do. Not yet. That's a that's a Yu-Gi-Oh um, no shipping names. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh fandom ancient tradition, where instead of being like oh, um, Joey slash Kaiba, it's puppy shipping, and that's the proper name for it, and that's what everyone calls it. Why do they call it that? Hmm. Why do they call it that? Well, I mean, there's a reason for all the shipping names, but every ship has like its own, you know, blank shipping name. So this is typo shipping. Wow. I'm learning so much about shipping. Yeah. It's like my favorite weird Yu-Gi-Oh fandom like lore because people just come up with these names and everyone just readily accepts it and there's yeah. like master list of like here's every pairing's name. <laughs> um Oh, his leg wasn't like that. It was, he was splooting. Um, I always love when I'm like online, when I'm too online, and I, I deep dive into some sort of like fandom or internet subculture that I'm not familiar with, only to like find out that it really, there's like so much to it that I had, yeah. was completely unaware <laughs> of. And I'm like, how deep does this go? Like, why is there so yeah. much to this? Because this is like an ancient thing. I think it was in Pokemon too. Like, uh, you know, blank shipping. But it's like a big Yu-Gi-Oh thing, and it still happens to this day. <laughs> um, and I don't know who is the one coming up with all of these things, but it's my favorite. Wow. Karina, what was that wiki that you sent us <laughs> of just, like, all of the problems It was within... the Problematic and Toxic Fandom Wiki. Yeah. Um, that was you put me in danger by sending that to me. <laughs> I like spent the entire evening that night looking at that thing. Uh, it was fascinating. Yeah, mild spoiler for those who don't have dropout. I was looking up um, reference for a My Hero Academia character, and came like one of the first images led me to this weird wiki that just lists why fandoms are toxic. It's like specifically <laughs> by each one. 
Yeah. And then if you, but when you go, and it was read incredibly the page, specific things. Yeah, it's clearly they were like each one was written by one person who has decided they hate a certain <laughs> fandom. And it would be like, welcome to. Here's the reason <laughs> Fire Emblem fandom sucks, cause yeah. they're assholes, and they and my, I don't my like My favorite them. one was the Simba fandom, and it was like they treat Simba like he's some kind of god. <laughs> Is this what Todd looked like? I'm going to ruin Todd. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm, I am pulled up the wiki because it's really just amazing. Welcome to the weird part of the stream where we just deep dive directly in front of you. Treat Simba realistically. Yeah. He is not a god. <laughs> Stop treating him like he's, he's a, god. He's a lion king. And then each one is like redeeming qualities. It's like not every Simba fan is bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. And they're god. all like that. Every every entry is like that and it's my favorite thing. <laughs> oh but god. I was just spending the night like um hitting random page on that wiki. <laughs> yeah, I lost like an hour out of my work day that day to doing that exact thing. The slack between the three of us <laughs> is just a mess. <laughs> we were also talking about that music video for a really long time. <laughs> the actual Todd Nintendo music video. <laughs> yeah, okay, point number one on the Simba fandom being toxic. Number one on redeeming qualities is not all fans are like this, thankfully. <laughs> number two, some good and wholesome fan art and fan fiction involving Simba. <laughs> Three, not all fans crossover ship him with other fictional characters. <laughs> Which feels like an odd point, that yeah, last one. Well, we're suddenly not allowed to cross ship <laughs> Simba with other fictional characters. <laughs> what do I want to? Also, I never said this, but Revy X3 subscribed and said thanks for streaming, guys. Thank you. You're welcome for streaming. <laughs> okay. Number three on why Simba as king should be banished <laughs> should banish his fandom from the Pride Lands. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> is the part where we talk about the toxic fandom. Number three is the crossover ship Simba with his, with characters from other franchises, which is ironic since Simba has always been betrothed to Nala. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, Simba is married. Simba is married. <laughs> Simba is, is a taken. married man. <laughs> Please respect Simba's <laughs> wedding vows. <laughs> oh. Also, Camp Bass is live. Yeah. So everyone go pick up your Camp Bass shirt. Camp Bass shirt live Never on ask Dropout. Julia for anything again. Infinity Bits 87, thank you so much for this song. <laughs> Amazing. Karina, this drawing is really coming together, too. This is very yeah. sweet. Todd looks so much more genuinely happy in this than <laughs> he does. Because he's in love. Because he's in love. I do not remember what Spooky Karen looks like. I went absolutely hog wild on Spooky Karen. I don't remember what Excuse I did. Excuse me, Todd is married. Do not <laughs> ship him. Married. Do not ship Todd with anyone. He is married to Spooky Karen. <laughs> Todd is canonically married to Stack of Goombas. <laughs> I think Spooky Karen had collars. Do not ship. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm problematic. Pink Number Witch one on. Subscribed. <laughs> Sorry. Pink Witch subscribed you. and said six months sub, but been a Droppy fan since 2015. Love you guys. You're a constant source of entertainment and inspiration when I'm stuck on storyboarding for hours and hours and hours. Ah, Thank you. Thank you. Please continue, Julia. Well, I'm looking at the Nala fandom now. Oh, my God. Number one on why her fandom is toxic. They worship her like a goddess. <laughs> 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 like, they all are written exactly the same, but they're all written by different people. I, I think. And I can't, I spent so long on this site and I cannot figure out if it's a joke or not. Number four, it has to be a joke because number four says, some of them just don't respect opinions. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's the entire point. That's what I was saying. Like, But don't clearly, worry, some of them have redeeming qualities. Yeah, they're all clearly written by, like, one individual person that had one bad interaction. Not all fans are like this, as there are still nice ones who respect opinions. 
you got to respect opinions. You got to respect opinions. Like, if I come into your fandom with some opinions, <laughs> I you got to respect them. Like I found this on accident on Google and I was like this is a joke, but there's hundreds of articles on this yeah, wiki. It's not a joke. There's 892 <laughs> articles on this wiki. <laughs> so I think and we've we just do, introduced it to our chat. <laughs> we're going to make a list of lessons here that we learn about having a non-toxic fandom. Yeah. Number one is do not ship if the character <laughs> is married. And number two is respect opinions. Yeah. And don't treat anyone like they're God or something. And don't they're treat not. anyone like they're God. That's weird. <laughs> Simba's not God. <laughs> Todd is God. Yeah. Only Todd. <laughs> Worship Todd. Julia just died Are from you something okay? she read. Guys. Mm-hmm. There's an entry about the Muppets. <laughs> yeah. The oh, Muppets let's ironic hear about Muppets fandom. fandom. Muppets ironic fandom? Oh, not even in earnest? <clears throat> <clears throat> this category <laughs> is called... Why this fandom has no rainbow connection. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Point number one. Yeah, tell me. To get the elephant out of the room. (laughs) Get out of here. (laughs) They are a part of the meme community. The meme community (laughs) curse you. Where they would use Kermit the Frog as the subject of memes (laughs) and will overuse him. (laughs) Do not use Kermit the Frog as a subject of memes. Do not overuse him. Number two, some of them are a part of the Sesame Street hate dumb. Sesame Street hate dumb. Oh shit. <laughs> Part number three. They make some really dumb ships, such as Kermit X Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> Kermit and Pepe the Frog, or Kermit X Fropy from My Hero Academia, which is just stupid. <laughs> Is an actual line from this entry. Don't make ships that are stupid. (laughs) They even ship Kermit with Elmo. (laughs) Disgusting. (laughs) Filth. I'm so mad. (laughs) Respect Kermit. Kermit is married. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Point number 11. So some of them are really, really, really long Point number 11. Right? So I keep scrolling. Point number 11, which is the second to last one, just says, some of them hate Donald Trump because of this parody. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, God. Some of them watch the shows and movies just for the memes rather than the purpose of pure comedy. (laughs) That was point number 12. Please respect pure comedy. And listen, maybe Trump's not so bad if you're reading this page. (laughs) Have you considered? Have Have you you considered? considered? Don't ship Kermit with Sonic. And also, I don't know, maybe Trump's pretty good. (laughs) Maybe he's made some points. (laughs) Oh, it's unbelievable. I'm sorry I ever found that wiki. (laughs) I'm not. It's brought me a lot of joy. It's very funny, but it's also incredibly distracting. (laughs) It is, but Dr. Discord says, people are enjoying things differently than me. How dare. (laughs) You gotta respect opinions. Spooky Karen have a tail? I don't know. Oh my god. This is a pretty good Spooky Karen recap, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It is kind of what Spooky Karen looked like. I recognize it as Spooky Karen. Lazy yeah. Goat says, sounds like Trump wrote it. And I could imagine <laughs> Trump oh just God. writing about the Muppets hate them. <laughs> they use Kermit as the source of memes. Sad. <laughs> Kermit is married. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> God. Yeah, there was one time I was talking to um, Bridgman. And he was just, because he, he, he's pretty deep online. Yeah. But I'll, like, talk to him about some things that I find fun. And he'll be like, I, I used to think that I was very online, but then I hear you talk about these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're, like, three levels deeper than I am at any given moment. And I'm like, oh, 
Like, yeah, well, <laughs> you're just deep in dip, two different oceans Basically, of the internet. Because Bridgman like, will talk about some stuff sometimes, and I'm like, I have literally no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Not even vaguely. <laughs> I would love if this wiki in this Muppets thing, uh, like, if point number 12 was just... Kermit does not respect my president. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have to say, point number 10. Uh, another thing is that when the 2018 reboot of the Muppet Babies came to existence, many people raged when that happened simply because of how the show is CGI and a new character named Summer Penguin. Summer Penguin. <laughs> Summer Penguin. I just saw in chat Zesty Xander saying that there is a page on the Toxic Fandoms wiki about dogs. The dog oh fandom. God. They treat dogs like they're God. So I'm, I'm searching. I'm searching. I'm this done. One's mine. I'm done, by the way. Do you want to read? Here. Let me have this. <laughs> I have it right here. Dog is God. On my phone. Okay. It's I, your time I draw, to draw now. Please draw. <laughs> I have to know about dog fandom and hate them. The picture for it is the most adorable husky puppy. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the toxic problematic stream. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read it to yourself. You can't. I'm trying Sorry, to find Karina. the best parts. Anyways. Also suggestions. The, yeah, yeah, send me suggestions. Toxic <laughs> suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> draw a Kermit shipping. Draw a Kermit shipping that they would not respect. <laughs> one Kermit that's just X. St- stupid. <laughs> a stupid one. Kermit yeah. X Sonic. <laughs> yes. Kermit as a god. Yeah, okay. All right, Jacob, go for it. Um so just as a as to start off the description here. Mm-hmm. Dogs are omnivorous animals that people keep as house pets, although some use dogs for work-related activities such as safety and rescue. Thank you for telling me what dogs they are. They made a very toxic fandom and hate them for various reasons, and it may started since the cat-dog argument. Oh, my God. The, what? The header. <laughs> the, the header for this whole section is called Why They Bork So Loud and Not Really Best Friends? <laughs> With a question mark. <laughs> Why they bork so loud? Why they bork so loud? And not really best friends? No. They are not. Do not tell these dogs who they are best friends with. So here, Do not here's bork. the thing you should know about both the fandom and the hate them. They don't handle the opinions of others. <laughs> That's the big a recurring issue. They don't handle the opinions of others. <laughs> In the fandom, it's a problem that some people treat their dogs better than humans and or other animals. Now, please, let that deep dive <laughs> and or for one And other moment. animals, parentheses, pets. <laughs> some of them went even went as far as wanting to kill big cats only because big cats eat dogs. You know, some big cats are endangered species, so if you kill them, you will get a lawsuit. <laughs> let, let's, in, in the words of this person, let that dive deep for one moment. <laughs> That's going on to my Kermit poster. (laughs) Let that dive deep for one moment. A user on the top tens got called an idiot and got doggy bombed for saying that dogs are bad pets. Doggy bombed. (laughs) I mean, this is obviously like a seven-year-old cat person. A a cat wrote this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. hate them. They are mostly from the cat fandom. Some of them want all dogs tortured. <laughs> they are just as bad as what? the cat hate them. <laughs> Some of them want all dogs tortured. <laughs> Some like when dogs get killed by cars and wild animals. Yeah, psychos. Those psycho ones. <laughs> Redeeming qualities. Not all dog fans are like this. <laughs> Oh, it's very good. Amazing. <laughs> Dog fandom. Dog fandom. Can you see if there's a, a an entry for like kale? Oh, I'm almost certain there right? is. Right. <clears throat> kale hate them. 
Damn it. Oh, there's no kale fandom or hate dumb. Wow. It's a perfect food. No one has any opinions on it. (laughs) 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 (sighs) Mythic Box subscribed. Thank Thank you so much. (laughs) Is this a Kermit ship you're doing? There were some, like, weird ones that I found, but I'm playing Digimon right now, so I'm going to finish this up (laughs) and then look them up. (laughs) <laughs> I'm drawing Kermit God. <laughs> Kermit is God. <laughs> yeah. Good news, everyone. There's not one for Droffy. Hey! Yes. The Droffy fandom is perfect, and the Droffy hate dumb is non existent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the vegetable hate dumb. I wonder if there's a vegetable one. Oh, did that say Dr. Eggman? <laughs> Dr. Eggman, Dr. ironic <laughs> fandom, and hate dumb. Dr. Eggman, ironic fandom. Yes, I got to know about Dr. Eggman, ironic <laughs> fandom. Yes, please tell me. Let me see if I can find the ones that I saved. Let's see if there's anything funny in here. I hate when my keyboard shortcuts don't work. Okay, these are some that I screenshotted okay. when I first found it. Bobcat Ironic Hapedom. <laughs> um, Bobcat? <laughs> Bobcats are a subspecies of lynx from the feline family that live in North America. Bobcats also have a very toxic hapedom. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Number one on why they're toxic. To get the elephant out of the room. Why do they always start with that? <laughs> People hate bobcats just because of Bubsy. <laughs> <laughs> we were all thinking it. I'm glad someone had the courage to say <laughs> they it. They keep saying that bobcats are the worst member of the big cat family. Duel the Queen gifted a sub to NPC Len. Thank you, Duel. Thank you. Thank you, Duel. <laughs> um, another one I have screen capped is Monster Cereals Fandom. Like Boo Berry. Yeah, and like Boo Berry and Count Chocula. <laughs> why some, they uh, why they won't get a prize in the cereal box. One, they claim that the corn recipe tastes terrible and call it the worst recipe change of all time. What? Not done yet. While the taste may de- be debatable, depending on what taste buds we have, there <laughs> are there are way the worst recipe changes of any cereal. The cereals, then the monsters, <laughs> like Rice Krispie treats, what? cereal, and honey smack. <laughs> what did any of that mean? I need to translate. <laughs> um, oh, God. <laughs> point number six, they also glorify Count Chocula to the point where the other monsters in the monster cereals do not exist. <laughs> In their mind. <laughs> Please appreciate Booberry. Please give Booberry the respect he deserves. <laughs> Corn is merry. <laughs> Count Chocula is merry. To the point where the other ones do not exist in their minds is such a funny way to phrase that. Okay. And Booberry Erasure. The other one I have screen capped is Colgate Ironic Fandom. The toothpaste? Colgate is an umbrella brand principally used for oral hygiene products such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwashes, and dental floss. Manufactured by Colgate Palmolive, Colgate oral hygiene products were first sold by the company in 1873. 16 years after the death of the founder, William Colgate. Why they're toxic. (laughs) (laughs) I have to know. (laughs) Um, (laughs) They treat Colgate like it was the best toothpaste. (laughs) (laughs) Why is that always point number one? (laughs) (laughs) They make silly comparisons between the Colgate and Supreme logos. That's just silly. (laughs) Oh, my God. Sometimes they share the same problems as Clorox bleach. Ironic fandom. (laughs) 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 There's too much crossover between (laughs) the Colgate and the Clorox ironic fandoms. Oh, Lord. 
off now. It's so good. <laughs> what was we, the sentence I was going to add to this? Let the let the something about deep dive. What was it? Oh my god. Deep, <laughs> really? Dive. Let that dive let deep. Let that dive deep. <laughs> let me look at it again. I have to know the exact <laughs> the exact wording. Exact phrasing. Let that deep Can dive. Can you have them letting elephants out of rooms? <laughs> Yeah, opening some doors for elephants. Yeah, it's um, let that dive deep for one moment. Okay. <laughs> you gotta let that dive deep for one moment. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, we gotta get the elephant out of the room. No shirt. Our lawyer would never let us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get sued by the <laughs> Dr. Eggman ironic fandom or whatever. <clears throat> I just want to say, the only thing I want to say about the Dr. Eggman fandom mm-hmm. is that they don't just like Eggman, they honor him like he was an incarnation of Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Eggman, my Lord, my... Lord and Savior. <laughs> and then number three, another startling um, similarity here. They even managed to compare Dr. Eggman to Donald Trump. First off, Donald Trump is not evil. Dr. Eggman is. <laughs> All right. So this site is written entirely by a middle of nowhere super conservative seven year old cat person <laughs> cat oh my god I'm just picturing little cats and MAGA hats <laughs> they manage to do dumb ships such as Dr. Eggman x Sonic when they don't even realize that Eggman hates Sonic <laughs> too dumb to know <laughs> Again, it's just Trump. <laughs> this is his too dumb to know side project. Eggman hates Sonic. <laughs> Some are even sexually attracted to Eggman. Oh, wait, it's Nathan in the chat. <laughs> hi, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. If you're here, Nathan, hi. Nathan, hi. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Cabbage Crow, we. Big toothpaste up in this. Toothpaste is married. <laughs> toothpaste is married. Colgate is married. We got too deep into the toxic <laughs> fandoms and hate dumbs wiki. And we were learning And I some... didn't even bring it up this time. I did. <laughs> we were learning some real things about uh, why certain fandoms are toxic. <laughs> they don't I respect did this. opinions. They don't respect opinions. Is the main problem. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> We're not even an hour into this stream, and I'm so tired already because of the, <laughs> the fandoms. The fandoms. Luckily, our fandom is good. Our fandom is very good. And Mary. And Mary. <laughs> Do Mary. not ship our fandom with other fandoms. How or dare s- you? Or stupid ships, like with Sonic. <laughs> I love that they said stupid fandom. ships. <laughs> stupid ships is my favorite <laughs> sentence in that it whole thing. It doesn't even make sense. It's a stupid <laughs> ship. Let that dive deep for one moment. Let that dive deep for one moment. Let's get the elephant out of the room. The elephant the shoe. is going out of the room. <laughs> See this? He's stepping out of the room. Yeah, that elephant is going out of the room. (laughs) Oh, Julia, this is wonderful. Thank you. And it is sad that it can never be a shirt. I know. (laughs) I am actually genuinely sad about that. Mutin Miller subscribed with Twitch Prime and said, Weh. Wah. 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 Thanks. Wah. Wah. People are suggesting a Secret Sleepover Society shirt. <laughs> I'd, I'll debate it. I'll debate it. Oh, yeah, we'll think about it. <laughs> yeah. But um, definitely, so uh, if Every- you guys, if you guys don't know, so we can't get Todd from Mario onto a shirt. Yeah. 
Um, so Jacob and I are probably going to release it on Secret Sleepover <laughs> Society store. Underground secret shirt release. Yeah. So on we're going to release him anyway. Web. He just won't let us release him on the dropout store. Yeah. They understandably don't want to be liable for any sort of yeah. copyright. That If Nintendo sees like, that Like, I don't want to awesome, be too hard on them. But no. at the same yeah. time, it's still just kind of like, <laughs> Todd is married. <laughs> Todd is married to Spooky Karen. That's the only non-toxic ship. <laughs> God. It's my turn to draw. It's your turn. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this. (laughs) Do not ship Todd with Kermit. Do not ship Todd with Kermit. How dare you? (laughs) Do not. (laughs) (sighs) Okay. What am I drawing? What could I possibly draw? (laughs) We derailed this stream so fast that... Yeah, <laughs> it's only gonna be weird from here. Oh, yeah. I did it immediately. <laughs> Just as a reminder, Camp Bass is now on the Dropout Store. I'm going to Slack Andrew and thank him for getting that up so fast. <laughs> Todd and Spooky Karen's kid. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I don't have it in me. I can't. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. Eggman is Jesus. I have that in me. <laughs> I have that in me for sure. Do not. <laughs> he is evil. <laughs> he is evil. My president is not. I am part of the Eggman fandom. <laughs> I'm an egg fan. I just want to look up like everything on this on this site. Okay. I think they have a page for, like, each individual character from Happy Tree Friends. Like, that's <laughs> that's the site. <laughs> that's commitment. <laughs> it's commitment to something. Are we just going to be on the site for the rest of the stream? I mean, I will be. I'm going to okay. be on the site for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I looked up vampires. So, of course, the number one result was Twilight. And number one on why their toxic is... They attack people who like the Twilight franchise and tell them they have bad taste in movies. That's pretty toxic. That's super toxic. <clears throat> I just love the the phrase bad taste in movies. <laughs> yeah, it's an objective thing. They only hate because it's about a teen vampire romance. <laughs> they only hate. Um, what else can I look up? What's mm. Just random page it. Oh, true. That's what I did. Random. <laughs> I forgot there's a random button. Bee hate them. <laughs> Bees. <laughs> hate them. Hate Type. those bees. Animal hate them. The face when you hate bees. Ugh. <laughs> Why they deserve to be stung is literally the the list of why they're toxic. (laughs) And deserve is spelt with several Zs. I do love the really fun ways that they header their list. It's pretty creative. (laughs) To get the elephant out of the room. (laughs) They hate them because... Really? (laughs) Really to get the elephant out of the room? Need to be checking who's writing these. (laughs) (laughs) To get the elephant out of the room, they hate them all because they sting people when they only sting because the humans are bothering them. Yeah. This is going to be a drawing of Eggman going to heaven. (laughs) Because I don't understand that Eggman is evil. Some people go crazy when a bee is right next to them. (laughs) So there's seven points on why the, the fandom is toxic. There is one point to why it's redeemable. They do have a point that the bees sting is painful. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are right that they hurt. Yeah, it does. It they do does have ouchy. a point <laughs> of all the things. They're just like, I guess I do agree with you on that. Amazing. I'm zooming. Zoom. Oh, you got to perfectly render him so we can go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, so we can go to heaven. Yeah, his coat's going to be like flaring out because he's floating. He's going to heaven to make out with Sonic, who he loves. 
<laughs> in like a week, we're gonna check again, and there will be a Drawfee hate dumb. Oh, absolutely. Page. Yeah. And it will start with to get the elephant out of the room. <clears throat> <clears throat> What about B movie? Eggman. Yeah, the B movie ironic fandom. Okay, hold on, I'm searching. B movie ironic fandom. Boom. Looking it up. <laughs> yep, it's here. Why are they toxic? Number one, they are part of the nowadays infamous meme community. <laughs> the meme community. <laughs> the memes. They strike again. <laughs> I'll get you a meme community if it's the last thing I do. Point number two. Many consider this an anime when it clearly isn't. Wow. <laughs> That's messed up. That is messed up. Who considers it an anime? Probably my dad, I who doesn't know what anime is. I think probably people who are joking. Yeah. yeah. They say B-movie is a masterpiece, which is not true because they are. there are better DreamWorks movies like Shrek, how to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, Mega Mind, and The Prince of Egypt. They make crossover ships like Shrek X Barry. <laughs> Shrek is married. Shrek is married. <laughs> Barry is married to a human woman. The only two redeeming qualities. Number one. Some B-movie memes are funny. <laughs> <laughs> meme community. Memes. Even I'll admit, occasionally the meme community does hit a home run. Point number two. It died out in 2017. <clears throat> okay. That was it. Okay, first of all, I don't think it did. No. <laughs> it didn't. This is Goosenberg wishful thinking. says my mom thought Drawfee was an anime. Kind of are. We talk about anime enough. <laughs> That's toxic. We are clearly not an anime. We're not an anime. <laughs> and also, we're married. I looked up jazz on the toxic fandoms and hate dumps. <laughs> the toxic jazz fandom. And the number one result was Danny Phantom. So Naturally. There's a character named Jazz and Danny Phantom. Number one on why this fandom they is toxic. They treat Danny like he's God? They literally treat it like the second coming of Jesus. Close. I was close. Close. <laughs> it's like every one. Number two, shipping wars. Shipping wars everywhere. Especially in between <clears throat> Danny X Sam, Danny X Paulina, and Danny X Valerie. So this, it, it really does feel like this is all written by a single person. Yeah. This person has a lot of fandoms. And... I, I want to find the one thing that is their fandom that they won't say anything bad about. <laughs> there must be one on there that's like, this one is perfect. All of the ships are good. And the meme community is nowhere to be found. I need yeah, to see Danny their opinion. Danny is poly, so it's fine. Danny has three hands. <laughs> I need to see their opinion on Doctor Who. Why this fandom should be exterminated. Wow, clever. <laughs> Number one, they don't just like the show. They glorify it they as it if like it was a gift from God. <laughs> Damn it, I can never get the right one. I thought they were going to say it's the second coming of Jesus. Nope, not this time. Damn this time it. it's a gift from God. <laughs> Number two, many fans are split into different groups. First off, you've got the classic elitists who only glorify the classic series to death. Second, you have the modern bleep who only glorify the modern series to death. Modern bleep? Uh, I, I censored it. Oh, it's a bad word. Well, just... It's, mm. not, it's just, like, offensive. Oh, okay. The modern fans. <laughs> um, modern fans, Malay. Thank you. <laughs> Number four! <laughs> this is just someone... This is, like... When I respond to tweets and then immediately delete it because I can see that I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? This isn't going to help anyone. This is just me venting. I'm going to regret this later. But this person pressed OK on this. They even continually bash season 11 due to its flaws. You do realize that no one is perfect, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's got problems, but ease up. I think this person doesn't understand that you're allowed to, you know, 
have problems with the series, even if you love it. This person doesn't understand a lot of things. Like, like I'm critiquing. So, like, I'm so sure that this has got to be a joke, the way it's written. Yeah. But... The commitment required to do this. Yeah. If it is a joke, that's more troubling <laughs> to me. Oh, my God. There's a rant on number 11. Ooh. <laughs> They managed to call Doctor Who the best British TV show of all when there are some that can be good or even better than Doctor Who. Want a good British show? Watch Vanity Fair, The Bodyguard, A Very English Scandal, The Crown, Outlander, Broadchurch, Downton Abbey, My Mad Fat Diary, The A Word, The Great British Bake Off, and many others. Some would even go as far as saying that Doctor Who is one of the few existing British TV shows where there are more British shows than Doctor Who. What? It exists. <laughs> it exists. <laughs> there are more shows than Doctor Who, and some people act like there aren't more shows than Doctor Who. Yeah. Number 12. Some of its fans won't stop talking about the show. Guys, we get it. You'd like the show, but there's no need to constantly <laughs> shove it. This person is friends with a lot of Doctor Who fans. <laughs> yeah. Please, I just need a place to vent all this. <laughs> My friends never shut up about the show that I haven't watched. <laughs> I like this Eggman, by the way. <laughs> this is beautiful. He's going Thank to you. heaven. He's ascending. <laughs> he's ascending to a beautiful place. <laughs> Where he's free from all toxic fans. Where he's free from all toxic fans, and he's free to love Sonic. Jill Wolves, thank you for the sub. Also, Atomic Scratch, thank, thank you for you. the sub. Atomic Scratch, subscribe for 11 months. Currently on a 10-month streak. Damn. Tell you. This hand is wrong. What did it say about Yu-Gi-Oh? I did read the Yu-Gi-Oh article like a while ago, and the main takeaway from it is just being like, fans are so weird and pushy and stuff. And then the redeeming quality is like, not all fans are like this. And they're right about Zexel being the worst series. <laughs> <laughs> they have a point, you know? And I'm like, damn. <laughs> damn, got him. <laughs> I love when they're just like, the not fandom me. is clearly this. And then the redeeming points are like, Okay, well, actually, some people are like this. It's not It's not all of them. Yeah, let's not get, you know, crazy. Yeah, yeah come on. Don't want to cast a broad record, net. it's not already known, I like Zexel. So I was like, damn, wait up specifically. <laughs> call out post. Yeah, that was, that was just to call out you. Yeah, they knew I was looking. <laughs> they could sense it. The ascension of Eggman. Eggman. <laughs> oh my god, we have a new line, and it's in the Hie ironic hate dumb and fandom <laughs> from Yu Yu Hakusho, which came up when I was Googling Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> ironic hate dumb. Number one, here's a new sentence. Are we ready? Uh huh. They bash him like he is the pawn of the devil. What? <laughs> He's the pawn of the devil. You are the pawn of the devil. <laughs> oh, is that. It's Sonic. Oh, is he looking yay. down at him? He's, he's come to welcome him. Do not treat Sonic like he is a god. <laughs> Sonic is a god, and also he and Eggman are in love. Yeah, he enters heaven through Sonic's mouth. He enters heaven through Sonic's mouth. That's a good. Much oh. like the, the chili dogs. <laughs> How does Sonic? This is. It looks like Homer Simpson's it mouth. It does when look I open like Homer it. Simpson. <laughs> okay, two oh, no, two more no, points this on this. <laughs> Number one, in the fandom, we get our old favorite phrase: "They worship him as if he was a god." But number two, in the ironic hate them, is they only hate him all because he bested Sasuke Uchiha in death battle. Wait, what? When did? What's his face? <laughs> From Yu Yu Hakusho, <laughs> fight. What's his face from Naruto? <laughs> oh, it's a YouTube channel. Why is that in the entry? <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the point after that is they also wish that Sasuke would kill him. <laughs> He doesn't even go here. He doesn't <laughs> even go here. <laughs> oh my god! I know I suggested this, Jacob, but I hate it. Can you have him? Can you drag him up? Can we yeah. have a little movie? In the For some arms reason. Arms of the angel. Hey, Jacob. You know what fly song came to my head? <laughs> from here. In the arms of the angels. 
<laughs> I love the idea that In the Arms of the Angels is the only line of, of that song. <laughs> Welcome home, Eggman. <laughs> and then his mouth disappears. I really want a Welcome Home Eggman shirt. <laughs> 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 For some reason, before you started singing, the song that came into my head was na 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 na. Drop animated live. Boom. <laughs> you have to press so it's many command Zs. <laughs> I'm not bringing it back. This is art. <laughs> that <laughs> was performance art. For the review, he's yeah. just gone. Yeah. It already like, happened. You missed it. <laughs> All art is temporary. Oh, my God. Well, better clip it or else it's gone better forever. Better clip it or else it's gone. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I yeah. I also have to go to the bathroom. Okay, okay goodbye. Oh, my God. All right, we need a suggestion for Karina. Yeah. <laughs> This is a cursed stream. <laughs> Draw Moobot as God. Y'all need to stop treating Moobot like it's the second coming of Jesus. Moobot is married. <laughs> Moobot is married. <laughs> Hanzo devil. I already do that. <laughs> Clearly Hanzo crystals. is the devil. Thank you for the Yugi sub. Shrek, Yu-Gi-Oh from Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Draw the devil's oh pawn. <laughs> the devil's pawn. Hold on, I have to look up. Uh, guinea pigs? Guinea pigs? Oh my god, guinea pigs. There is a page on guinea pigs. Oh god, I don't know. Did I choose a thing? I just. Moobot x Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> they don't just love guinea pigs, they glorify <laughs> them. Here, I'll I'll draw Moobot. We need a depiction of Moobot. They ruined the pet community. <laughs> Bring Eggman back. I can't. I don't. I can't. I gotta respect his wishes. Um. Okay, I'm gonna draw Moobot. I'm closing the problematic fandom <laughs> tab, or else that's that's it's... gonna be it for my day. <laughs> what is Moobot? Mubot what is Mubot? As God. Yeah, Mubot as God. <laughs> yeah. Overwatch 2 was announced. Oh. Nice. Did that happen? Apparently. Cool. Is Hanzo in it? Did he, did I they heard rumors of Overwatch 2, but. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter. Overwatch. It was leaked. Two. Oh, that's right. I didn't know if it was officially announced. Oh, there was an emotional trailer. Whoa, look at this cool lady. Oh. She's dope. Look who finally put a black woman in yep. the game. <laughs> they finally listened. <laughs> oh, she's dope. She has like a gun arm. I'm very excited about this, and I will watch the trailer later. Yeah. We'll do it off stream. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go on another entire thing. Yep. Did you see the rad lady in Overwatch 2? Oh, they announced Overwatch 2? Yeah, it's no longer just leaked. They but... stopped being so coy about it. Look at this cool lady. It's a sequel, and it's got a cool lady in it, and that's all we she know. She has a gun arm. A sequel. Her name well, is no, there's Sojourn. a whole trailer, a but I didn't watch to it. sequel to what? There was no Sojourn story. Dope. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't know why I needed a sequel. <laughs> Mm. Overwatch 2 trailer fandom ruined Overwatch. <laughs> Shave haircut said. Overwatch is married. <laughs> no, that's not how. Do works. not ship Overwatch 2 and Eggman. <laughs> it's Evans Varus. Thank you. Okay, let's do. I'm Hi, draw... clearly crystals. Hi. I'm drawing Moobot, by the way. Everybody saying Free Hong Kong is going to have their winnings revoked. And be banned for a year from the internet. <laughs> if Blizzard has anything to say about it. Droppy has business interests in China. <laughs> 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 Sorry. We have strict rules. Mubot. What are you drawing? Mubot? I'm drawing Mubot. Mubot. Dr. Math just gifted five tier one subs. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Math. There's a face on each side. That's the is nice there a face idea. on the bottom? 
You know what? Maybe. There could be. Then I have to give it more horns. I haven't even given it ears so we can hear everything that we're saying. Rubot's always listening. Clearly Crystal was sad we didn't stream on Wednesday night, but we deserved the time off. Thank you, Clearly Crystals. We were going to stream, but I got home and I was sad. Yeah. And so I said, I can't stream tonight. I'm sad. So we just took the night off and played a lot of video games? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ironically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we ate some, we ordered some food and we played a bunch of video games. Well, I put my computer together, but <laughs> Jacob played a lot of video games. Yeah. And then at the end of the night, I felt better. Yeah. I, uh, while I was putting together my computer, there's a, a cooling fan that sits over the CPU. It like you have to clamp in these four clamps while the the fan is still on, and then you have to screw it in. And I wanted to scream. I think Jacob came home and I was lying on the floor, just groaning. Yeah, you were you were completely horizontal. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I really thought I was gonna snap my motherboard. Is that a mouth under there? Yeah, nice. I think that's where the oh, mouth and a tongue. Goes. Yeah, so we can enunciate and tell us. But yeah. why is it out so far? I don't know. <laughs> he's really that's, enunciating. That's for licking. That's for, for <laughs> dropping in the words on, into the hungry. chat. Maybe he's hungry, yeah. It's just, they just fall off the they tongue. They fall like, out whoop, and into doop, the doop, chat. Doop, doop, doop. Those are words. Here's an A. Here's another A. This is also an A. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Got one letter. And he, and Moo bought... They are a god. All praise Mubat, but don't treat them like <laughs> some kind of god or the second coming of Jesus. Mubat is married. Mubat is married, and I will have you treat Mubat with respect. But also respect opinions. Yeah. That's a hand. Yeah. Whatever. Shave and a haircut said we need to set up an SSS fan stream for when y'all need a break or are on vacation or whatevs. Play Mario Kart or something for two hours. Yeah. Somebody make another channel, <laughs> and whenever we don't stream, someone has to get on that channel and stream. But only when we don't stream. Only when we don't stream. And, you, and we're not going to give you a lot of notice. So I'm looking at the Gravity Falls fandom now. Oh, great. I thought you said you closed it. I did, but then someone asked me a question if there was a page of Gravity, so I went to go look it up, and Gravity Falls came up instead. Point number six, they worship Mabel like she is the flawless and greatest character of all time. She is not, however, and is very annoying and obnoxious character. <laughs> that's also an opinion. That's an opinion. These no, are all that's opinions. an objective truth. Number seven, even worse, they also lie about facts. <laughs> <laughs> Only Gravity Falls fandom lie about facts. Always lying about facts. <laughs> Mr. President, please. <laughs> <laughs> They're lying about facts. Uh, they keep harassing the... Wait. Oh, they keep harassing the creator of Gravity Falls, Alex Hirsch, to make season three, which will not happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is uh, Mubot eating people? No, it's just talking to the chat. It's just saying to the chat, Yeah. hey, the things you say can and will be used against you. I'm Mubot. <laughs> That's what Mubot says, right? It, Mubot reads you your Miranda rights yeah. in the chat. Can we have a bot that does that, <laughs> <laughs> actually? <laughs> well, this person hates Gravity Falls, is what I'm finding out in this thing. Um... It's so bad that it makes the hate them look good. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Isn't Alex Hirsch working on another show right now? Yeah. yeah. There's like a new show coming out, right? Yeah. That's cool. They, I mean, this whole thing just hates... I mean, they just clearly hate Gravity Falls, which is really cracking me up. They scored the, the hate them of Gravity Falls at a negative 10 out Damn. of negative 10. Damn. <laughs> wow. I'm glad that I'm not a fan of anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I just like all the things that I like. 
(laughs) (laughs) The key is just don't like anything. (laughs) That's the key to happiness. Yeah. Guys, they don't just like Gravity Falls. They worship it. Like it's the second coming of God. Like it's the second coming of Mubot. (laughs) Yeah, here they come. These are bits. It's coming in bits. Rain down bits upon me. (laughs) This is a very good drawing, Karina. Yeah. Thank you. Very good job. Why is Moobot called Moobot? I don't know. I don't know. Aaron, just just because I'm not going to color it, just so we know there's little spotlights. It's got glowing Vegetarian, if you just got here, you've missed too much to possibly ever be caught up. (laughs) Yeah. A lot has happened. Our streams are always very lore heavy. Yeah. As they go on. It's a self contained it's like an, a, a self contained <laughs> episode. Yeah. You know? You gotta be there for we the We set up a premise beginner. at the beginning and then it just goes and goes. Yeah, and I don't goes. know why we set up this premise in particular, but we did. We don't ever choose to set up a premise. <laughs> it chooses us. We asked Discord for stream themes and I said probably we'll just forget whatever you say and then make the stream himbos or dummy thick or something. <laughs> We've already done himbos and yeah, thick. But both of those were like, just happened. And this also <laughs> just happened. Yeah. How did we even get on it? I brought it up, but I don't even remember why. I was talking about some like deep Yu Gi Oh fandom shit. Yeah. And uh, then you just managed to tangent into it. Yeah. I yeah. just realized that I'm, I'm wearing this Fantasy High shirt on the stream to promote the Fantasy High merch. Yeah. And I've had my hoodie zipped up the entire <laughs> time. The entire time. <laughs> this is the whole point of wearing it today. <laughs> okay, here is here is Moobot. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Boop, boop. Nice. Meow. Thank you. Meow, meow. Guys, there's Fantasy High merch in the store. Here it is. That and many other shirts are available. I'm the model. <laughs> a room full of married chocolates. <laughs> it's very funny. It's a very funny sentence. So can we talk about the next animation they're getting? Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I don't see why we wouldn't be able Oh, to. yeah. I mean, aside from the one I made that's going up on YouTube next week, uh-huh. but the next Karina one mm-hmm. is the lost audio <laughs> from the original Room Full of Vampires bit that we lost the video to. We took that audio of Julia coming up with that for the first time and animated it. <laughs> and it's so funny. It's so it's good. It's real. It exists. Yeah. So you'll know you'll know the the actual origin <laughs> of Room Full of Vampires revealed to you for the first and last time. <laughs> Vampires are married. Vampires are married. The room full of vampires is married. <laughs> also, you should all know, Draw Detectives, uh, the next episode, is going up on Dropout on the 9th. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yay. Nice. Because since I draw everything <laughs> myself, uh, we have to skip the legal part. Which is good. Which is good. That means I can just get them out whenever. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Uh, Julia needs a suggestion. I need a suggestion. Do suggestions. Next episode of Draga soon. (laughs) David's working on that. I I believe it's done. It's currently being reviewed. Oh, is it done? Dope. Well, it's being reviewed by Nathan. Oh. Today. Oh, yeah. Nathan had a note for me and I (laughs) didn't fix it today. My phone, too. Wow. Thank you. How many more things am I going to have to hand you? This is the problem with the hand in Karina things fandom. I misread. And in Karina things is God. <laughs> I, I misread a suggestion, and I think I'm gonna have to draw it now yes. as per tradition. Chalk full of <laughs> roomulas. <laughs> I read that as roombas. <laughs> chalk full of roombas. So I'm just gonna draw a room full of roombas. A jock <laughs> full of roombas. So. What if a bunch of roombas became one jock? <laughs> what? A jock full of Roombas. Sounds like a himbo. Yeah. If no rule says a bunch of Roombas can't play on the high school football team. Am I right? You you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the movie when the room full of jock the jock full of Roombas kicks the winning goal, field goal in the game. <laughs> My favorite jokes of yours are when you sigh <laughs> in the middle of them. 
Well, I, not, not even I wanted to continue. <laughs> but you have to. You have to, you have to complete the, the joke. That's the rule. Aw, okay. new Genji design. He's wearing clothes. There's a new Genji design? Yeah. There's a new Genji? He's not naked anymore. What the hell? He's got a hoodie what on. What the hell? He's, he's wearing sweatpants. He's got we're joggers. <laughs> Go look, he's going out for a run. No, now he looks like a bike nothing. messenger. <laughs> Hanzo is dead. <laughs> they delete Hanzo. Come on. Hanzo is married. <laughs> Hanzo is married. <laughs> He's the pawn of the devil. <laughs> or the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> and he hates Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but he loves Dr. Eggman. <laughs> I want to know all this stuff about the new Overwatch. Me too. They say anything about Diablo 4 yet? I don't know. <laughs> Jacob holding out hope. <laughs> well, they're, they're supposed to be talking about it at this BlizzCon. <laughs> they just <Four>. don't. <laughs> How many Diablos is in this one? There's trailer and gameplay? Oh, my God. And see, Julia, you thought... <laughs> I was being stupid, but really I was being very smart. Here's my life right now. It's Assassin's Creed Odyssey and also Outer Worlds. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I was playing Outer Worlds this morning is where we've landed. You where were I playing it this morning? Yeah. When? <laughs> While you were taking a shower. Wow. My problem is that Death Stranding comes out soon. Oh, true. I'm going to have to watch you play that because I, I don't want to play it myself. I just watched Tim Rogers' hour-long review about it. When does it come out? In like a week or two. I think uh, a week. I'm, I, you have to get it so I can and watch I'm, you play I'm it. I'm very excited to dive into that bullshit. Yep. I can't wait to just say, what? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. I just love games that are both high art and also the dumbest bullshit. And Kojima makes only that game. The only game he makes is one that is both high art and the dumbest bullshit at the same time. <laughs> and that cracks me up. And then also Pokemon comes out soon. Is, oh, that, yeah. is that Pikachu? No. It's a scared <laughs> cat. It, is, it does look like how I draw Pikachu, though. Dr. Discord said maybe high art was the dumbest bullshit all along. <laughs> It kind of is, though. Probably true, yeah. I just want to see Hanzo. I feel like this whole year has been too many good video games of the year. True. Who, Who dares enter our what? chamber? Randy! Randy. It's Radical <laughs> Randy. Oh, I got a, an alliterative nickname. Yeah, come on in, man. Hello. Come join. Randy's hey, here. How's it going? Randy's here. Hey. We're I, talking about video games and God. <laughs> oh, those are things I'm incredibly well versed in. <laughs> I love the Lord and video games. The chat is saying all, giving all the Randys, talking Hi, about everybody. all the Randys. Hey, chat, good to see you. Uh, so where were we at with my love of Jesus? <laughs> Randy, this stream has some really deep lore at this point. You walked oh, in no. at a really odd time where yeah. we have nothing to talk about. We have nothing to talk about that would make any sense because of the trajectory <laughs> the stream has gone on. It's like Great. To, to spiraling in on itself. In a to recap it very quickly, Karina found a <laughs> wiki page all about toxic fandoms. Okay, yeah. But every single first line for all of them are, people treat whatever. Simba. Simba, That's like he is God. Purpose. And that's every first line of every single one. Isn't he? That's not enough. Isn't that the oh, part? you're toxic. Wow, uh, toxic. It's me. Toxic Randy. <laughs> and then uh, some of them also end with uh, the fandom hates Trump, and that is bad. And I'm always like, what? <laughs> Droofy, if there's time. I think you're allowed what's to. What's the order? Trump. If there's time left on the stream, I'll draw Overwatch 2 Hanzo. Oh, you have to do that. Yeah. We'll, we can skip me. <laughs> Is he also going to be dressed like a bike messenger? <laughs> <laughs> I already have my deep Hanzo thoughts okay. for the person Hanzo becomes, so we'll get to it. Yeah. I think we need to jump straight to that once this is done. <laughs> yeah. That's more important. Welcome to a normal stream. Than anything I would do. <laughs> well, based on what's on screen, 
it seems like a perfectly cool living room. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, are these Roombas? Yeah. 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 It's a room full of Roombas. It's a very clean room. Is yeah. it a Roomba framed picture? Yeah. <laughs> and the only person that lives here is one cat. I love it. Yeah, this whose cat, house this is this? This cat does not walk. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this cat ride on Roomba. Yeah. I like that we also just have Eggman still up. Yeah. <laughs> on the That's screen. true. You know what? I was very unfazed by that. I was just like, yeah, this is a perfectly normal stream. This is Why wouldn't we talk about Eggman for a little bit? I did a whole animated scene where Eggman ascends to heaven, which is inside of Sonic's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And that seems like a perfectly normal fandom. It was true art because I ruined the PSD to do it. Yeah, yeah. it's gone Dude, forever. All that's left uh, where is, is it? Um, there it is. This is all that's left. Oh, it's all that's left. Yeah. You can't find it. No, I, I literally ascended him into Sonic's mouth and then closed Sonic's mouth and then ascended Sonic. It'll be clipped. It's off beautiful. The canvas. So now you, you can't watch it anymore. Yeah, is he? You can't wait. see the art anymore. That's no, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's, gone. he's, gone. he's <laughs> actually gone. Yeah. That's cool. It went to actual Photoshop. It's performance ever. art. It's yeah. literally in the cloud. Yep. It was a <laughs> statement on how all art is transient. <laughs> it's true. Randy, have you heard about our Lord's sa- and Savior, Todd, from Mario, Kermit, Eggman, and Sonic? Yeah, I heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. Randy yeah, loves yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I told you I love Jesus. But does Jesus love Randy? Uh, he's all right. <laughs> Are you also like... Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that? It, it was a little Todd. <laughs> what was that? It was a little Todd. <laughs> and where'd he go? Teeny Todd? I drew a little Todd. Todd's gone now. Because this is a room full of Roombas, not, not oh, Todd. on the walls, too. Is it yeah. a Todd yeah. full of Roombas? Why was his face on the wall? <laughs> Todd full of Roombas, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes. who's Todd? Do I know Todd? This is another deep lore. Yeah. Okay. Lately on streams, we've been doing this thing I don't know where how this keeps happening. This one. <laughs> That's what I say about life. As Karina said earlier, it's the pinnacle of you had to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you anyways. I mean, you'll get like the experience if you just go back and watch like Bob. our the Monday one clip of the Monday stream, but I mean, Karina, if you watch the whole segment. <laughs> yeah. Karina misread the chat and someone wanted us to draw Toad from Mario, but she misread it as Todd from Mario. Hell yeah. So Julia drew this little possum <laughs> in sort of a sexy pose with this weird half smile oh. and a mushroom hat and it was we labeled it Todd from Mario. It's Todd from Mario. And for some reason we just like lost our absolute minds <laughs> and spent like a full half hour just cackling at the uh, at the possum. I'm trying not to cackle at this possum right now. I can't even see it, but the, the, my, I, my the stomach idea. like hurt after that stream. Yeah, I was I felt ill. <laughs> the one I think po- I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is the best diet plan. Probably got some good ab exercise. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you gonna blur them all? A yeah. big blur. They're all just Those going. <laughs> engines are on. Those engines are revving. Whoa! (laughs) They're just bouncing off of each other. Oh my goodness. The cat is in danger. I imagine they all just like bop into each other and didn't do that thing where rumors are like, okay, wait, no, I hit something. I'll turn around. Okay, I'll I'll leave. Boom. (laughs) These incredibly polite rumors. The blur is married. (laughs) The The blur is married. Another one of the toxic fandoms things was the guy was mad that people were shipping Simba with other characters when Simba is married. Simba, Sim, we don't know if Simba's married. Simba he's just betrothed. chose someone. Yeah, he's a, yeah. Simba's betrothed Since, like, Tanala, forever. A life mate to Nala. Uh, and so now we've been saying that everything is married. Everything is, I did see that I was married in the chat. And, and yeah, was Randy just is married. not going to address it. I was like, hey. Am I? <laughs> Do not ship Randy. Don't ship me. Randy is married. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, I can't even ship myself now. God damn this cannon. <laughs> Who next? Karina. Karina we next. Hanzo. We doing a Hanzo? Do a Hanzo. Hanzo. Back to my roots. Don't want to run anyone over. I haven't drawn Hanzo ah. in a long time, actually. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I was very cold. Mm-hmm. And um, this was an easy... Easy fix. Yeah, easy fix. Who needs a stole when you can have a full-on cape, high collar, and everything? Uh, I no. want a stole. Dog. 
come to the right place. You got stoles? <laughs> you know I got stoles. <laughs> this guy got stoles. I got stole and stoles. <laughs> He's a stole man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> play trumpet. <laughs> it's made out of cloth. <laughs> this is kind of you going. <laughs> <laughs> He's a stole man. I just blow my nose. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, man. I did karaoke last night. How'd that go? Got a 99 on Put a Spell on You. Ooh, oh, nice. nice. I did a bunch of improvised scat. At, at some point, I just scatted Wait, what? the lyrics to <laughs> Scatman John's I'm a Scatman. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say you did improv scat to I Put a Spell on You. Yeah, you do that. Because there's a lot of, like, uh parts of I Put a Spell on You where it's just really slow, but it's like one of those songs where it's like, you're mine! And just sort of w- hang out until the next yeah. few lyrics come up. Yeah. And so it's like, ba ba da da ba 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 put a spell on you! <laughs> and just like, go. You gotta scat it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Where am I, I haven't karaoke in a very long time. Do it. There's so many around our office. There's a lot of karaoke all true. over there. I guess Koreatown yeah. is right there. Yeah. 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 But where is Karina Town? Right here, baby. Right oh, here. right yeah. here. Um, Welcome to Karina Town. To Anywhere Karina is. <laughs> I live here. <laughs> Check it out for Guy Fieri. <laughs> I kick my mattress further under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that a denial of you living here, or are you just like, cleaning up for us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to see my bed. I didn't make it. <laughs> Who has the time these days? Okay, so we're drawing Hanzo 2. Yeah. You said you have lore. I have, like, deep Hanzo headcanons uh, because they don't give a story, you know, until yeah. now, I suppose. So I've always thought that, like, you know, post Hanzo finding out Genji is alive and also getting his rad little haircut, very cute. <laughs> he's just having a full-blown midlife crisis, and he's very depressed. So Hanzo in Overwatch 2 <laughs> is sad. He, yeah, he's like sadder than ever. But like he's working on it because clearly he's made some progress. Like he, he had his cute little midlife crisis makeover. She but face, like it's thank not you for the great. <laughs> is he still doing like assassinations? Yeah, when he has the energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like I he's killed. having he's oh, having Monday trouble, already. and like that's why he ends up joining Overwatch because he's just like, well, it's a living. <laughs> that's why he ends up joining Overwatch Two. Yeah, Overwatch Two. My two. bad. Yeah, the two. Cool. Hanzo is my emotional support <laughs> fictional character. <laughs> it is a living though. Yeah. Those those. And maybe these are just all of my feelings, but you know what. <laughs> How many assassinations have you done this week, Karina? Or have you not had the energy? But you know what? No, I I didn't do anything this week. I didn't do shit. This is me. You did work here at the office. That doesn't count. (laughs) (laughs) It's just the limit. I mean, assassinations are Hanzo's work. Yeah. Hanzo is really going through the motions, is what I'm saying. Like, he'll he'll do an assassination because he needs to, because he needs money, because he eats a lot of cake. And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, like, his depression meal. Mm. And, yeah. 70s City suggested baby dragon tattoo, Hanzo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work that in. <laughs> Thank you. Man. And Zesty Xander asked how your midlife crisis is going, Karina. It's going all right. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks that you're going to die at, like, 50. <laughs> yeah. I'm still quite young, but I know I... I Look. I can <laughs> sense that I'm about halfway through. <laughs> I'm feeling, this is like about the 50% range. Yeah. It's good to know yourself and understand where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> I love the structure of this face. I liked it's seeing the on Hanzo in the so foundation. long. It's like seeing an old friend. <laughs> you materialize before your eyes. Yeah. And like, he's just, he's just a shitty little mess. <laughs> You shitty little mess. Hello, old friend, you shitty little mess. <laughs> I have so much affection for Hanzo, but he's also just like a nasty little gremlin. He's the, he's the pawn of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Release wait, Hanzo's on. shitty little mess skin. Yeah, this is Blizzard. the shitty little mess skin. This is what he's going to look like when he shows up in Overwatch 2. <laughs> he's just like in an alleyway. He's tired. Um, yeah, he's very tired. He's not been sleeping enough. He has insomnia. I like he, the idea of him wearing a sweatshirt. 
Yeah, like he's just <laughs> just like a grimy sweatshirt. Yeah, like he's got his stupid little fashion jacket. Fashion jacket. But he's just wearing like a crew neck sweatshirt <laughs> <laughs> that he he's found. Just wearing like a Harvard sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't go. He just has one. Yeah. Ar bar. Oh, that's almost an art bark. <laughs> He's wearing his art. You don't know. <laughs> um, Two thousand and sixty-nine. Whatever. Um, nice. <laughs> what year is Overwatch happening? I think it's like a twenty XX. I want to say it's in the seventies, but I'm the not twenty seventies. Sure. I would love it if it was in the nineteen seventies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it turns out this Disco whole time. Overwatch. Disco Overwatch. Whoa. He's a stole man. <laughs> <laughs> Here, he looks a little too forlorn. For the redeeming qualities of the Overwatch fandom, <laughs> not all Overwatch players are rabid and toxic. Some of them are good and sane. <laughs> not all Overwatch fans. Is this hashtag. whole wiki is the most biased wiki I've ever read in my life. Every entry is just, it's so obvious what they like and don't like. Yeah. Like, they hate Gravity Falls. What? Um, they, what, what were some other ones? Why would you hate Gravity Falls? They hate Gravity Falls because it is a show like for children. They do not like dogs. They do not like dogs. What? At yeah. least they don't like dog fans. Is, yeah. Oh, okay. The dog fan. I, I get that, actually. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I could stand by people liking uh, people liking dogs more than people. I can understand liking dogs more than a lot of people, but not all people. Oh, Randy, I've got the perfect sentence for you. <laughs> uh oh, from this wiki, it's the the best sentence. Yeah. I have to find it again. Oh, I thought you'd like just pull out your phone and it was already <laughs> on the page. It's I was, your lock I was screen. Very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that good stuff. Would they like dogs that can drive? Yeah, duh. I would love a, a driving dog. All right, here you go, Randy. Some people treat their dogs better than humans and or other animals, pets. Ain't it the truth? Now, please, let that dive deep for one moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say, like, a thought is like an Olympic diver about to just jump into your mind? <laughs> Every idea is just another, <laughs> another Olympian. Another dive, yep. <laughs> Let it dive deep for one moment. <laughs> Do, nope. Not too long. Time's up. Time's up. Oh, that idea drowned in my brain. Oh, there's his cake. Yeah, there's his cake. He's eating with his hands. Yeah, with yeah. his gloves on. Mm. That's one thing Hanzo and I have in common. <laughs> Does he have, like, a nose piercing thing up there? Yeah, because that's what his... That's what he did after he started having a midlife crisis. He got an upper nose piercing? Yeah, he got yeah. a bridge piercing. Bridge piercing. That's yeah. what it's called. <laughs> That's like the lore that I wanted. I was like, can I know more about why <laughs> this happened? And then it never got clarified. <laughs> we'll find so out. I'm just going to assume it's a midlife crisis. Yeah. So that's his cake that he's eating with his bare hands. That's an important part of my personal Hanzo lore. Mm. He just doesn't care. You know, like, whatever. That face when your brother isn't dead. and <laughs> He's a robot. And he's a robot. He's a little naked little robot. <laughs> he's a naked little robot with a, <laughs> with a perky little booty. Yeah. <laughs> he's better than you. <laughs> His butt's better than uh -huh. yours. He's got that automated bounce. And here's his... Um, hmm... Mm -hmm. I thought it was just going to be a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he he no. put down the bow and picked up a gun. He just carries a 9mm <laughs> now. He has a handgun now. It's like, no, why it's am, I, little, why it's am his... I using archery? Guns it's exist. It's his J. Oh, he's and smoking his, a J. And his bottle. A bottle he's and a, a J. Mess. Yikes. Wow. He's and got a problem. There, Hanzo. Pick but, a vice. you know, this is his midlife crisis redemption arc. So, like, he's going to get better. Don't worry. He's fine. He's working on it. But some nights he's Hanzo just, you know, spin. eating cake <laughs> in one. He's really double fisting tonight. Yeah. Yeah. He's having a tough night. Where's the baby dragon tattoo? Oh, oh that's carbs. right here. It's going to be on his neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, like, wasn't satisfied with the one he had, so he tried to cover it up with um, a younger one. Look like. 
Baby Dree. That's Garfield. <laughs> no. No, I'm not done. Stop treating Garfield like he's the second coming of Jesus, Julia. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me look up Garfield. I did find a hate Jesus this. Christ hate them. <laughs> Jesus Christ hate them? Hate them. Hate them. It's like the opposite <laughs> of a fandom. Yeah. But shouldn't it be a hate smart? Damn, dude. Just Whoa. saying. Whoa. Yeah. Randy went there. I'm just saying. Randy went there. Though. I'm not Jesus Don't give or big brands any ideas. I don't mean to treat Randy like he's the second coming of Jesus or anything. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that kind of rocked. But that kind of rocked. <laughs> okay, so there's no entry on Garfield, but there is an entry on Garfield Cart. <laughs> what? <laughs> Garfield Cart. I love it. Is it the meme community again? They make idiotic memes of the game. They also hate what they call the meme community. The oh, meme community. On this website. They cannot handle criticism on the game. <laughs> the meme community. The Garfield Cart game. And is then the next line like is memes? a lot of these half wits devote the game to their lives. Um, devote the game yeah, to yeah, their yeah, lives? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. But uh, so. In the same paragraph where they're like, uh, these people can't take criticisms, they also just call them halfwits in the next sentence. Well, they devote the game to their lives. These idiots can't take my gentle criticisms. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's Genji and his what is, clothes. What is the unit of measure of a wit? Like, oh, how can you have like a half wit? Yeah, like how can you tell what well, a full I think wit like, is? Yeah, I think like stasis is a wit. Like norm normal like your normal stasis is a wit and then whatever you find to be like stupid is half of your own wit. Whoa. But I'm probably a half wit compared to someone who's incredibly witty. Yeah. If someone We're is all twice half -wit as witty as me, then I'm a half wit compared to them, but they're a double wit compared to me. Right. I'm done. But then like, is there a standard <laughs> Karina, great job. Thank you. I love that it, it has like lore and story already. Yeah, he's like, Yeah, I'll join mm. Overwatch and then this is how he shows up. Three hours Three late. late. Yeah. Brother. <laughs> brother. Brother. Oh Ooh, yeah. Brother. And I lost like, my mm. communicator. Free. Yeah. Um, oh, free Hong Free Hong Kong. Free Hong Kong. Is, is in there. Yeah. Now it's nice. done. Yeah. It's done. Now it's done. Complete. Uh, okay, you, you, you do get to yeah, draw. I guess I will draw. Yay! Yeah. 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 So fast. Yeah. It's Hanzo. Also, I'm a Karina, say, Karina. Good hands. You just threw some hands up there real Hanzo. quick. <laughs> thank you. Good hands. The, the so, one on the right is objectively not good, but hey, thank you nonetheless. Hey, you know what? Hands are I'm, hard. Hands are hard. D. The Ketchum one on the said, left is pretty red. But because this is in the future, Hong Kong is still not free? No, he found this shirt. Yeah, it's, 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 very it's old. vintage. It's vintage. Yeah. He's vintage. He's vintage. Yeah, he's fashionable. Vintage fashionable boy. What am I drawing? Guiji. The grave digger. I can't Randy believe. times Jesus. I've been multiplied. <laughs> no, that's Randy X Jesus. Yeah, my ex Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to draw Guiji. <laughs> Somehow he managed you. to like... Turn this stream around and make it somewhat normal again. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> Good I'm a work, great team. Equalizer. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. <laughs> the review's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Woo! I it's gonna wait. be a descent into normalcy or an ascent <laughs> into normalcy. Yeah. <laughs> we've risen. This. Yeah. We've elevated. There's like a that poor Robotnik pick we'll never see. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> did you put timeline on it, or did you just like move until they couldn't move anymore? Yeah, you just it's gone. Moved. <laughs> you oh, lassoed no. it and then moved it up. <laughs> it's gone forever. <laughs> Play the chat backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think someone drew it. Here. <laughs> That's so what? good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Someone did fan art of your of your of sending. Can I see? Eggman. Wow. Chat, you so fast. So fast. <laughs> Bring back Todd. Todd! Oh, I have a picture of Todd. What if Todd was one of us? What if Todd was one of us? Just a Todd like one of us. That's Todd's face. Whoa, he's adorable. Oh, I think I have the Thank whole you. Todd. Here. I thought you said weasel. Todd. This is a weasel. This is a little cute guy. I said he's a, a nice possum. possum. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And possums are good guys. <laughs> 
possum super Not guy. like Eggman, who's evil. <laughs> Some people treat Eggman like the second coming of Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Christ. This head shape is giving me xenomorph vibes. Yeah, what Truly. is this? Uh, I wanted to do kind of a melting Gooigi. Oh. gooey. I feel like Gooigi can't live forever. Oh, <laughs> oh no, Jay. I feel like it's time we face Gooigi's mortality. <laughs> Who Let's wants? Talk about it. Are you gonna make Gooigi, Gooigi a forever? <laughs> uh, no, Gooigi is not going to heaven. <laughs> Gooigi's done some things. He's the pawn of the devil. <laughs> Gooigi is a pawn of the devil. God, that line, <laughs> pawn of the devil, is so funny to me. <laughs> Melty nose. Oh man! Oh no! That's where the nose is. Yeah. Why is he? That was What's be this? That. Oh no! It's melting. <laughs> He's melting hardcore. Yeah. So his whole face is stretching. Oh, I like this. Oh boy. That's a horror. This is a horror Gooigi. Yeah. Hey Cam, you missed a lot. Cam you missed mouse. some stuff, Cam. Cam, Cam why you, you missed keep a missing lot. Stuff. Cam, you keep showing up too late, Cam, and you're missing it all. Figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, Cam. Figure it out, Cam. Good. Cam. Somebody get Cam in here. Hi, Cam. Hi, Cam. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> what if you walk into, like, you know, a room to meet up with your friend, and that's just how they greeted you? <laughs> hey, Randy. Figure it out. It, it, it's kind of what happened. <laughs> it's Cam's mom's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Cam's, Cam's mom. mom. It is Cam's how mom's birthday. It is Cam's mom's birthday. It is Cam's mom's birthday. It is Cam's, Cam's mom. We did it. (laughs) (laughs) Gooigi. Looking at this lava mon. Is there a lava mon? So goopy. Is there a lava mon? Yeah. Probably. uh, As a Digimon or a Pokemon? I mean, who am I talking to here? (laughs) Yeah, who are you talking to here? I don't think there is. That's odd. Because it'd just be a little slug, like Slugma. But Uh better? Is there a real lava mod? I don't think so. Oh, man. Uh, Oh, no. So its eyes are gooing into or melting into its own skull. Yeah, it's not good. Things aren't good for Gooigi. Oh, boy. Sorry, everyone. This is grotesque. More like... Goo-tesque. No? It's more like okay. goo-tesque, it's fine. I think. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like I just got made fun of by a teen. <laughs> that is Karina energy. Yeah. I just got, oh, I walked by a high school and got owned. <laughs> Someone asked what the wiki had to say about the Digimon fandom, and the first line is, you think Pokemon had a toxic fandom? Guess again. Okay. I'm so, guessing again. <laughs> Digimon fandom worse than Pokemon fandom. They often start wars and debates with the Pokemon fandom over which series is better. I'll tell you what, though. It's Pokemon. Better theme song. <laughs> uh? Uh? What? <laughs> I'll Some tell you what, though, there's not really much of a competition. Yeah. Some fans disrespect others' opinions or did something worse. <laughs> <laughs> Cryptic. <laughs> oh, you thought that there's a specific disrespect was example. bad? Wait, you get a load of this. There's yeah. A one. They're calling out, like, a person by their full name. Oh, yeah, no. it's a full call-out <laughs> post to this one poor dude. They are part of the Pokemon hate dumb. <laughs> They worship the first two seasons of Digimon and hated the rest of Digimon seasons. <laughs> Just like the Power Rangers fandom and Pokemon hate them. Oh, Redeeming man. qualities. Some Digimon fans are nice and respect others' views. <laughs> is that, the first is that written tinier? <laughs> it's always the first line is that uh, not all fans. Not all fans. Not all fans. Some fans good. Anyway, Jacob, oh, this is boy. disgusting. This is great. Um... He's, he's getting real uh, horse in the face. There's a face reminiscent of a horse's. Excuse me? Is what I'm saying. What are you saying like, to me right like, now, Like, um, is the word equestrian or is it equine? I'm sorry, what are you saying to me right now, I'm, Randy? I'm saying the face of the Gooigi that you've drawn. The face of the Gooigi. Is rather horse-like in nature. 
Excuse me, what are you trying to say to me right now, Randy? I'm, I'm saying, you know horses, right? <laughs> <laughs> the features of a All right, horse. hold on, I'll look up horses on this tonight. <laughs> oh, there's yeah. definitely one for horses. <laughs> horse animal. Horse animal. Look yeah. up the horse animal. Horses yeah. might be majestic, but the same can't be, can't go Hello? for the fandom. <laughs> They don't just love horses. They glorify them to death. They're killing horses. They're killing horses. Too much glory. They ruined the pet community. They ruined the pet community. They ruined the pet community. Some of them are strangely obsessed with horse butts. (laughs) (laughs) They're big, though. That's That's where the phrase donk comes from, from a donkey. Because donkeys like ass. Woo! Because donkeys like ass. Yeah, or or called ass, and badonka donkeys. Oh man! This whole oh, thing this is poor, wild. this poor Guigi. Why are they the more, the more you draw, though? the sadder I get for him. Some nice horse fan. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> this isn't a nice you can drawing. Can separate fiction from reality. They're not this all is, real life is, horses. It's not a nice drawing. Like the it's certainly the last characters. drawing. <laughs> I want to leave everyone feeling really bad. <laughs> I'm feeling Horses down were ruined now. by My Little Pony, by the way. It's basically the gist of that wiki. Are there horses on My Little Pony? No. They're ponies. Yeah, they're ponies. Yeah. And some are um, uh, unicorns. And mm-hmm. some are, that's uh, true. Uh, what are you, what's Which the are one? not horses. They're what, married. What's the one that's both a unicorn and a pegasus? It's got the, the real cool name. I don't know anything about My Little Pony. Yes, oh. thank you. Sorry. Aragorn? Aragorn. 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 Uh, VeggieTales one time, they were doing a Lord of the Rings parody, <laughs> and, uh, and the uh, hero, Aragorn, Arag- Arag- mm-hmm. was, was heir of corn. <laughs> I thought that was a good joke, VeggieTales. <laughs> I just really like how you delivered that whole thing. Thank you. It's very good. <laughs> As this is uh, it's my uh, my stand up. This is this is my <laughs> this is Randy's tight seven. It's 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 pretty loose for a five, so we're calling it a tight seven. My God, people keep requesting that I look ones up. <laughs> Do it yourself. There's an entire wiki. Veggie Tales fandom and hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The yes. first line. The very first line, God is bigger than the boogeyman in this fandom and hate them. <laughs> it's the first line. Bigger than the boogeyman. <laughs> Why they're both bad apples. Ah, oh, oh, so gooey. That's poor <sighs> thing. See, see, his head starts there, but then ends down there. Ugh. This person, I just want to say, is a big fan of VeggieTales, just, just because of the line... Um, where is it? Da, 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 da. They hate Veggie Tales. Wait, no, where? Where'd that, where'd that line go? Hold <laughs> they on. They hate hey, Veggie Tales. That's the problem. I mean, the line is basically that they hate Veggie oh. Tales and won't give it a chance without even watching it. <laughs> Please watch Veggie Tales. Is give peas a chance. Oh, they con. Oh, wait, what? Uh-huh. House and City with that. What? They constantly bash on Veggie Tales in the house and in the city. <laughs> Without giving it a chance. What does that mean? They what go does that outside? Mean? Yeah. They, if they go out into the streets. Yeah. Into the city. Into the, into the city. World. They hate Veggie Tales. <laughs> Guys, I'm in Manhattan. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta hate on Veggie Tales right now. <laughs> Hi, can I get one ticket to the city, please? I'm, a, I'm just a rural boy with a mission. <laughs> Jacob, people want you to slap some green under this Guiji. Oh, look at that! This good oh, Guiji. That's a good pour. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I love that little pour. Gorp. You really integrated it. Thank you. Good old raisins and pour. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> we will not thank you, however, for drawing this. We will make you color it. I will green this Guiji. I do very much like this Guiji. Thank it's very you. good. Oh, here he comes. Here he is. We're just gonna get some <laughs> big. We're gonna get some big green, then we'll get some small green. Yeah. Spider thirteen, welcome to the stream. Great name. It's just in time. It's almost done. Yeah. We're Did you have a going good time? to leave. <laughs> We're going to do a review and then leave. 
Yeah. After yeah. Jacob <laughs> finishes coloring this wonderful Gooigi. I always feel so bad when people get here just in time for it to be done. I know. Also, non-sarcastically, you did a great job staying in the lines with such a big brush. Yeah, really. I stopped before. trying now. Yeah, I noticed, but like just Even before so, I said it, I was like, you fine. did great. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm gonna fix it. Or am I? Uh, who cares? I don't know. It's giving it a cool vibe. Yeah. yeah. That uh, it's slightly outside the lines. Yeah. Yeah, you just Ooh. gotta add some. Are you like, just putting goo. more pressure Ooh. on the nice? Yeah, you just gotta add some little like, you know, goo spots. Oh, to show uh, that he's goo. To show that he's all he's all goo. As a as a uh, long time watcher of the show, I must say everyone's gotten way good. Like, yeah. Look at these advanced techniques. <laughs> I miss some motion apparently that happened earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're all pretty advanced artists. So we truly. are professional. Yeah, you, you, if you weren't professional artists, you would have you would get paid doing something else. That's what if it is. If I weren't a professional artist, I would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Like Gooigi. Gooigi. He's begging Who Todd for dying. help because Todd's in Mario. Yeah, because Todd is a Todd's character. Todd's from Mario. Todd's yeah. Mario Prince. Todd's another from castle. Mario, yeah. Can. <laughs> Save me, Todd. There we Save go. Save me, Todd. I love, love it. it. This is great. It's beautiful. Should we do beautiful. a review? Let's do a review. Let's do a review. Let's remember this Go horrid day. I did a sexy mug. It's a little, sexy mug. Little did I know how unsexy this stream would be. <laughs> <laughs> never predict. Leave room for Jesus. Oh, wow. Earl Grey. That's Earl Grey. I love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so regal, so royal. Then Karina did Spooky Karen X Todd crossover, <laughs> which is where we started on this fandom thing. Yeah. There we go. Shax. So, cat, thank you for the sub. Then Julia designed the let that dive deep for one moment. Oh my goodness. Design. Kermit. Yeah, letting Kermit the elephants out of the room. Letting the because elephants they out of the treat, room. Because they treat Kermit like he is God. Yeah. Uh, this is where there once <laughs> this was. This is where he ascended. At one point, there was an art egg here, man. but he is gone now. He ascended. He's he ascended. in heaven now. He's in heaven now. With Sonic. Welcome home, Eggman. Uh, there's Whoa. Karina's Moobot. I love it. Uh, devouring, or not devouring, but gifting words. But he could devour. He could devour, he could. but he won't. He's not hungry. Uh, room full of Roombas. <laughs> yep. Roomba room. Right there. Uh, Overwatch 2, Midlife Crisis Hanzo. <laughs> yeah, Bridge Pearson. And then finally, Gooigi. Oh, boy. Gooigi. Uh, that was a good stream. Cursed Gooigi. It was a good stream. Good job, everyone. Yay. Thanks, everyone, for watching the stream. Thanks, to to everyone, for being at the stream. Make sure to go to store.dropout.tv to get your D20 merch, to get your Drawfee merch. You can pick up shirts like Camp Bass and other things there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's a Newsday shirt there. There's a Newsday shirt that, that Karina's my dad, dad got. loves. Karina's yes. dad loves it. You'll love it, too. Dad approved. This is the end of the stream. We love you all. And we're Peace sorry. Boop, boop. Um, and remember... Do not ship. Don't Do ship. not. Goodbye. Do not. We are married. We are married. married. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.